Hey, it's Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant, e-design expert, and blogger. Today we're looking at Sherwin-Williams Natural Linen, and I'm very excited to show you this color. Some homes just suit beige. They need that soft warmth because of the products in them, or maybe because they're of their exposure. It's in picking the right beige and the right undertones. So I'm glad you're here looking at this color. It has been out for a while and I think it's been underused and it's gonna get more popular if I have anything to do with it. So every paint color has an LRV. That's a number on a scale of zero, which is black, to 100, which is white. Natural Linen sits at 66, so it's in the light range and it's right smack dab in the middle of the light range. Now, if you have very bright light in your room or a wall that gets a big hit of light, it's gonna wash out, you're gonna lose it. You'll lose any color in this depth. You really need more weight on your walls. But you have to remember that's only at a certain time of day, the sun, or I guess the earth more likely, is going to move and things are going to change. And then you're gonna to get to the evening time where you really need to like the contrast you have with your trim, which is why this LRV sits in a really great spot because it's not too heavy. Now, if you have south facing light or say afternoon western sunshine, natural linen can look really pretty without getting overheated. Some people have these warm rooms and they like warm colors, but they can look kind of like an oven with that sunshine. So you wanna be careful. Natural linen has a really soft muted base so that you can have a warm color without being in an easy bake oven. Now, if you have a north facing room or say Eastern afternoon light, Western morning light, those can be cold lights or flat lights. Natural linen has enough warmth to balance that off a bit, but if you don't have enough natural light, it's gonna look a little pasty, a little, a little skin tone perhaps. So you do wanna be careful and improve your interior lighting. On my blog, I have two awesome blog posts on light bulbs. If you find the search function, type in light bulbs, read them, they will change your life. Anyways, okay. Now we're gonna do some comparisons. Comparison is the best way to pick a paint color. No matter what type of color you're looking at, you want to compare. You'll see undertones, changes in depth or value, chroma, which is how much color you see. Now, we're gonna start with muslin. So muslin is a very popular beige from Benjamin Moore. It has an orange undertone. You can see how much stronger it is compared to natural linen. But the thing is muslin is actually a very muted beige. So this shows you that natural linen is that next step more muted. So if you're nervous about beige, you're thinking, oh, I don't want builder's beige. I don't want it looking so golden like the early 2000s. It's not this color. That's why I'm so excited about it. Killam beige. So a lot of people, when they need an orange undertone, they go to Killam beige, slightly orange pink. You can see how powerful that is. And it still works, it's still a great color. Again, it shows us how muted natural linen is. Now, part of this comparison is to show you the difference between beige and tan. A lot of people call them the same thing, and you can, but you might find it easier to call. Beige tends to have an orange undertone, tan tends to favor a yellow undertone. These can be super passive, like we're looking at here, but that, if you're finding the colors you're looking at aren't connecting with your products, you might need to switch from beige to tan or tan to beige. So if we do comparison, you can see that. Let's start with canvas tan, which is very, very tan. Beauty, I love canvas tan. So hopefully you can see that switch from a little bit more yellow, a little bit more orange. It's awesome. Natural tan. A little bit more grayed out, right? A little bit more gray in there, a little bit more muted, not the orange. Again, if you see one here that you like, I have reviews on them, and if I don't, mention it in the comments and I will do it. I love doing these. Creamy, so creamy is interesting. It is a cream, has yellow in it, and it really shows us that little bit more of, I'm gonna say orange, slightly orange pink perhaps in some lights. You can see the yellow popping against it, whereas creamy actually sits a bit more passive against tans because they share that same yellow undertone. Do I have any other? I know I do. Kestrel white is another interesting one. For homes with beige finishes, you'll find that more often than not, these homes need beige with an orange pink undertone. Even though that sounds scary and potentially ugly, I totally understand. But if you pick the right color, it, it, that P word is not scary. It's beautiful. This just shows you a shift 
That has a little bit more of that pink in there. Again, so muted, right? I love it. Moderate white, I bet you this is wicked. Yeah, those two are quite happy together. Good, good comparisons. Comparison is good. So when you're doing painting, you're probably gonna be either painting your trim or hoping that the trim you have works with a color like natural linen and you do wanna be careful. So because natural linen doesn't really harbor a lot of yellow in it, you wanna be careful with creamy trim. And I know a lot of people have creamy trim, especially with homes that need a beige paint color. So the yellow, it just sits a little funny with the orange in there. Is it doable? It's doable if you already have alabaster in place. I wouldn't purposely paint it though. Same with extra white, except it's not doable. You just, I can't let you do it. So extra white is actually a cool white, even though it might be hard to see here. It says it's extra white. It actually has legit blue in it. So don't ever trust a color based on its name. High reflective white, totally doable. Nice and simple, just white, no surprises. But if I'm starting from scratch, hands down, the white I'm looking at is Sherwin-Williams Pure White, which again, don't trust a color by its name. It is very not pure white. It's actually a soft white. It has a lower LRV. I'm gonna say it's around 84, 85 maybe. And it's got some warmth to it, but not as much yellow as alabaster. So there you have it. That's natural linen. I hope you enjoyed. If you visit me on my blog, I have hundreds and hundreds of articles on DIY update ideas, budget-friendly tips, and tons of color reviews. I also have an awesome Instagram feed, and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.